What's up, guys? Alex here from After Work Nerd Out, bringing you a, I guess, a second parter uh, to this Captain Marvel situation we got. Uh, at time of filming, maybe less than a week ago, I put out a video about Captain Marvel backlash or you know, backlash. She made this comment. I think that the internet decided to make her almost like a martyr and kind of like, you know, turn her <laughs> into like the hated person of all time. Uh, over a comment, I don't think it was a big deal. Now, the reason I'm making a sec follow-up video is because of this. As you can see, this is what you see with my video for the Captain Marvel backlash, overblown, blah, blah. Check it out. It's not a bad watch. Only 58. Well, according to the analytics, I have like a lot more views than that. So I don't get how that works. Uh, if you're not familiar with YouTube, you don't have a YouTube channel on the thing here. You can actually moderate your uh, comments. Left it alone. I'm going to, you know, you'll see in a second. I have two comments, these public ones. I have one who this guy clearly is um, smarter than me because he can quote Game of Thrones. And this uh, Danielle, don't want to assume, but seems like a very nice lady. She thanked me. I said, you know, speaking from the heart. So you click on review. It goes to my analytics page. Uh, so this guy, Alex Grady, we have the same name. So this comes up as likely spam because this he's probably copy and pasting this all over. I don't think he's a bot or anything. Uh, so it says here, boycott Marvel Studios for silencing the fans. Oh, okay. You click on it. You go to this link. Uh, and here's his change.org petition. Change.org positions, as we know, have led to real change. Um, I'm kidding. It. I don't think it really does that much. Not because it's not. The message is there. It's just nobody listens, which sucks. So this guy, I'm going to read this verbatim. Uh, any, I'm not, when I say some of the stuff, uh, it's not because I'm an idiot just because I'm reading this. Rotten Tomatoes has removed audience interest score of Captain Marvel due to pressure from Disney loving media. After seeing more than 70% audience who are, aren't are interested in watching Captain Marvel due to poor marketing and underwhelming trailers, the main lead of Captain Marvel is a woke, an awoke actress who wants to promote politics instead of presenting audience with a good film with good film sorry not with a good film with good film if people hated women why didn't ba alita battle angel receive similar backlash like captain marvel why didn't alita battle angel re recive receive similar audience backlash like captain marvel alita battle angel received backlash from social justice warriors which i not a fan of them but whatever and the movie was adored by the fans Liberal media calling fans who aren't interested in Captain Marvel man babies is big slap to fans who pay their hard-earned money watch these films. We, the audience, uh, wants to watch goods movie free from politics and agenda. Rotten Tomatoes silencing the fans on their website doesn't term well. Uh, critics and audience should have equal say in movies they like to watch and movies they don't we know there is a disconnect between critics and audiences you may or may not enjoy a movie regardless of what critics say about it but we should be allowed to voice our opinions too the want to see feature was a venue for fans to voice their desire to see a film now that has been taken away tell rotten tomatoes to turn the we want to see feature back on or else we will make sure they feel the pain as you can see uh 167 brave soul 106 170 have Brave Souls have signed. Well, oh, it's going to keep going up. This guy started uh, this studio, this petition. I So, yeah, I got curious. I said, screw it. Let me let me see what's going on. What, I, what I'm going to do is try to try to like understand some of this. And to understand even the situation that this is behind, um, which is funny to me because they're boycotting Rotten Tomatoes. It's probably the same people that are boycotting Rotten Tomatoes always talk about how Rotten Tomatoes sucks anyway. People just like to complain. This is an IGN article. I know IGN. So for those of you who don't understand what exactly is going on, the TLDR or the simple explanation which is here we will no longer show the we want to see percentage score for a movie during its pre-release period why you might ask we found that the want to see percentage score is oftentimes confused with the audience score percentage number so basically when a before a movie comes out there's a want to see feature where you can say you know if you want to see it you go and it comes out with a percentage now after the movie comes out it changes into audience score and that's where the people that aren't like uh considered you know full critics or rotten tomatoes like licensed critics i don't know exactly how it works so if you you can just have a rotten tomatoes account and then just do like a like a, a normie review whatever you want to do and that gives it like that number so what rotten tomatoes is saying that they believe that people will think that the movie got a 31 percent before it even come out and that's the other thing all of this is happening 
when the movie hasn't come out yet. So then some of the problematic things with this is the fact that he says the main lead of Captain America is a woke actress who wants to promote politics instead of presenting audience with good film. She didn't make the film. She starred in it. She didn't write it. She didn't direct it. She didn't have probably that much creative direction. So saying that it's all her, like it's kind of dumb to completely blame her for it. We, the audience, wants to watch goods movie free from politics and agenda. Every movie has, you know, for the most part, a lot of them have uh political stuff and agenda stuff but she expressed an opinion when she had originally expressed her opinion about what she said she never said that that was what the movie was about which is what my first video was about she it i said and i'm pretty i'm gonna paraphrase myself i said i'm pretty sure the movie isn't about white guys should all be fired from their jobs and replaced with other people the movie's about a superhero at the end of the day this whole situation is everybody finding a way to get mad about something to push their own agenda everything when i see things like this it just makes me it doesn't make me laugh because i just feel like bad because I'm, I'm trying to understand how you can say she said a quote that had nothing to do with the movie it was her personal opinion which again now these people are trying to fight for their personal opinion on rotten tomatoes if you're gonna fight to have your opinion and you're gonna attack her because of her opinion that doesn't make sense you're you're fighting your you're, you're fighting yourself because everybody is entitled to their opinion Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Unless it becomes hateful. When I say hateful, I mean racial slurs and violence. That's hateful. So this whole thing going on with the, with this petition just is really sad to me. Because, I mean, first of all, this guy, I don't know what is up with this dude. I just know his name up there. It, it's crazy that they're blaming Rotten Tomatoes. All right, so Rotten Tomatoes always has caught flack because Rotten Tomatoes is bullshit. They rig scores. They favor certain companies, blah, 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 blah. So the same people that get mad, like I said before, they're always complaining anyway about Rotten Tomatoes. Right now it's boycott Rotten Tomatoes. Before it was don't listen to Rotten Tomatoes. It's always people like, and it's the same thing with this guy too that commented on my video. On the actual video itself, his really cool Tyrion Lannister quote, because nobody can quote Game of Thrones. Freedom of speech, diversity of thought, the counterculture is united. So diversity of thought is what sticks out to me a lot in this. In this. What, you, what you're saying is right. But the reason you're saying it is wrong. You are saying it because the person's opinion is not your own. So they are wrong. It's also stupid to me. It really, it really drives me absolutely insane. You know, if she had gone up there and said, men should all die. They shouldn't have their jobs. Every, every man should be replaced by a minority or a woman. That's just how the world works. That's how it's fair, blah, blah, blah. Then, yeah, I'd be like, okay, what the hell's wrong with this lady? That ain't right. She said that she just hopes that she just wishes there was more diversity in critics. There's nothing like it's just so stupid. And she was talking about critics, not just anybody that watches movies. <laughs> when she was talking about like when she said that about critics, what I think everyone should remember is she was talking about critics. She said it wasn't for you. For the critic. It's really dumb. Like, you're just interpreting it a way that you want to interpret it. It's so basically, I thought that this thing, this change.org petition was hilarious because people, they, they, they're they like, Rotten Tomatoes is silencing us. No, Rotten Tomatoes, at the end of the day, wants to be, simply put, an aggregate of reviews. So an average of all other reviews to then disseminate that and then give people the opportunity to A, read those reviews straight from Rotten Tomatoes because then you can just read certain ones on there. And it gives, unfortunately, it gives other people that aren't critics the ability to do that too. Difference is anybody that's a part-time critic or like a like a, like a an audience critic and who's a movie critic, they both share one thing. They think they're smarter than everybody else. And that's the other thing, the other thing I remember. These this guy is saying that she's she wants to promote politics instead of presenting with audience. He that sentence alone is saying she shouldn't be allowed to have an opinion because she should just be promoting the movie. So at the same time you're saying that Rotten Tomatoes has taken their has taken theirs you're accusing her of taking, like, you're you're trying not to let her opinion get out there, or you're you're going out of your way to attack her opinion. That's freedom of speech goes all around. Freedom of speech doesn't go to whoever's right. Freedom of speech goes to everybody, right and wrong. That's just how it is. Does it suck? Yeah, it's a yin and yang thing. You can't have right without wrong. So for you to just try to silence them, and then, and then of all things, you're going after Rotten Tomatoes, and you're going after Disney. A, you're not going to take down Rotten Tomatoes, or you're not, and you're not going to take down Disney. Rotten Tomatoes should have changed that shit anyway because that review is so stupid. That whole audience thing. They should they should wait and then let people that actually goes... Once someone goes and sees the movie as an audience, then they can review it. And that Rotten Tomatoes in a perfect world really should be used two or three weeks after a movie is released. And then that could help decide 
undecided people if they want to go see a movie or not. You're act like these people are like <laughs> it's so stupid to think like it it's so dumb. And also like why would they care? Why would Disney care? You realize that there are billions of people on this earth. If 31% want to see Captain Marvel, which it says right here, that's not 31% of the entire world. That's 31% of people that happen to go on Rotten Tomatoes and say that they want to see it. The other 70, no, the, the other 69, eh, let's see what they did there. The other 69% isn't the rest of the world. It doesn't mean that 69% of the entire world is going to go see it. It means that 69% of these people that really don't like Brie Larson are going to deprive themselves of seeing a movie and because they don't agree with what the actress says. And then they all, and then what they do is then they weaponize this want to see thing. Like it's a coordinated attack. And that's the other thing, Rotten Tomatoes. Why would a website want to have a function where this simple function with a couple of clicks away, you can just destroy a movie? Like, it's so stupid. Like, people that are going to see Captain Marvel, like myself, and pretty much everyone I know, and I am not. I don't try to live in a bubble, but I, I've talked to everyone. Most of them don't even know that this is going on. Like, you guys are pushing a story that nobody cares about. The only time they care about it is when you guys did the, that attack, and you're trying to keep it going, but it's just not working. Honestly, it's really dumb. But at the same time, I can see what you guys are saying. There are some people on the other side that get crazy. If you, you can't compare all feminism and all feminists the same they're not brie larson wants to see some more diversity in the world but i've seen twitter accounts of people that want men to die but at the same time and let's go into the other side do you want to be lumped in with every single person on your side no do you think do you think me as a more as a more liberal person wants to be lumped in with everybody else no it's stupid just be yourself and don't spend all your free time attacking a movie as if it's gonna f change the world it's not. To my point, this is why Rotten Tomatoes, I mean, even if they got rid of that, even if this didn't happen, it's still stupid. Like, even with Black Panther and Wonder Woman, do you, what do you think that the press tour was about? Like, like when the press tour, like, everyone acts like they made Black Panther, it has, it was a 90% black cast, it had two white people, two white actors, and then in the movie, both, you know, there was black bad guys, there was white bad guys, there was black good guys, and white good guys and then everyone's just like this is all political this is anti this this is anti this i'm like it was a fair equal it was a good story people compare it to the lion king clearly the only the only similarity are cats and africa to lion king because if you actually you know dissect the storyline i'm pretty sure that nobody's like uh scar's son came to try and kill the king and actually scar they never had a son that tried to kill Simba. So you're just making these these wild comparisons because you know nothing and you don't want to like ever you like you want to push your agenda. And this is what it is. Like you guys, everyone that has like supports things like this, they think that they see everything for what they for what it is. But the only thing is you're not seeing it from the other angle. You're only seeing it for whatever angle you benefit from or whatever your brain benefits from. So you're not that much smarter than anybody else. That's I'm sorry to say that. I'm sorry to break that to you. And it's it's hilarious to me. Like I'm I wish I was at Disney right now. I'll fly on the wall in the conference room. Oh man. 71 uh 69% of this movie of the people on Rotten Tomatoes they organized an attack on Rotten Tomatoes, and now the want to see number is thirty one percent. We gotta make up that money. We got it. No, because that's sixty nine percent of you morons that think that's actually gonna do something. It's not. <laughs> it's so crazy. People just get online on computers and just blame everybody for everything. But at the same time, it's like it, it, the other the social justice warriors. They don't do themselves any favors either. I, if you want to consider me anything, trust me, I'm not against you. I'm just not with you on this one. But I can, I see, I see both sides of this. Social justice warriors are stupid and annoying. But some people just want a little bit more diversity. Like Brie Larson wasn't a social justice warrior. All she said <laughs> was, "Wouldn't it be cool if you know there should be more representation out there?" What's so wrong about that? It's so, this whole thing is so dumb. They, and then I, in my other video, I talked about a channel, which this is how I'm going to name. The channel is called The Quartering. It's this guy who basically is just the opposite person as me, but we look very similar as in long bearded guys in front of computers talking. I really almost 
completely disagree with this guy because I feel like he's just doing it to just be cool. He's copying PewDiePie, trying to take he's trying to take PewDiePie's audience because he keeps saying wham and he thinks he's awesome by copying a big YouTuber and trying to pander to them. When in reality, you're making these dumbass points that you probably some of them don't believe in. And also you're just trying to make people angry. And that doesn't that like PewDiePie got his fan base originally by being crazy and different and one of the first people around there then he then he when he stopped and got into meme stuff i don't agree with pewdiepie 20 like like 50 percent of the time like i'm half and half but i can't sit here and tell you he is not an entertaining guy and i completely respect where he's at and i mean the guy just had a freaking parade for him in estonia but that you know i still watch him though even though i don't agree with everything he says i i'm on i'm i try to see things unbiased as much as possible and this is just stupid to me let's look at some, some of what people are saying i'm boycotting because Rotten Tomatoes is silencing the voices of the consumer. Freedom of speech, unbiased representation is important to me. Rotten Tomatoes did this because it seems like they were going to do it anyway because people keep using it to target and attack any movie that they don't like. Why were you trying like, unbiased representation? That's so dumb. Like every single person signing this thing is biased. It's so stupid. <laughs> Beta cucks protecting us sexist and racist. That's another thing I'm, I'm really digging about 2019. Everyone's going to be allowed to say whatever they want to say. I'm done with Rotten Tomatoes and Disney regardless. But censorship is wrong. And I'm American. Happy to sign. Um, This is absurd. I don't know what's absurd. I'm tired of Rotten Tomatoes. They're part of a Disney company. Say no to Rotten Tomatoes. I don't think they are. I thought they were NBC Universal. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Who owns Rotten Tomatoes? Fandango. Who owns Fandango? <laughs> okay, NBC Universal, Warner Brothers, and Fandango. So there you see it. Disney is not owned by them. Well, they're not owned by Disney. I hate the hypocrisy that Rotten Tomatoes represents. I don't. Money can't buy everything, buddy. Rotten Tomatoes is biased. Disney, LOL. Everyone should accept whatever people say about you, whether it's good or bad. They don't care. Because obviously they just cared now because they don't want their Rotten Tomatoes to be just a weapon of people when they don't agree. They go to Rotten Tomatoes. Like, Rotten Tomatoes has a bad reputation as it is because people before this. People already hated it. They just found a new re excuse to hate it. What they realize is, oh, we can now use Rotten Tomatoes as a way, as like uh, as a tool. And Rotten Tomatoes is a business. It's not just somebody's tool to go and attack people. That's not what they want to do. It just doesn't make sense. It's they want to. They don't want to be used as a weapon. I have had enough of this social justice warrior political agenda horseshit being constantly rammed down our throats by Hollywood and liberal assets. I go to the movies to escape that crap. Okay, she really didn't say it. All she said was she'd like more representation. Uh, stop with the politics and everything. Rotten Tomatoes is shilling for Marvel, so not only am I being called sexist and troll wrong, I'm also now silenced. You're not silenced on all platforms. You're only silenced on Rotten Tomatoes. The freaking biased critics who like to suck moose ass. We aren't man babies if we liked Princess Leia, Ridley, and Alita. Our voices are getting silenced. Just don't go see it. I don't know. A biased site having control over the opinions of the audience score skewers the narrative of audience interest to see it. And should is Oh my god. Man, the set I swear to God, anytime anybody does anything, they just talk about 1984, a George Orwell book, and that just makes them feel so much better about everything. I don't think anyone's really I'm not even I don't I'm not protecting her because what she said wasn't wrong. I don't care. I want my voice to be heard. It is. To whoever's spending their time on change.org. Again, Rotten Tomatoes is bought and paid for by Disney. They are trash, not trusted. Wikipedia, not owned by them. I'm sure that singing, signing it because freedom of speech and unbiased shock. Have we said that? Social Justice Warrior, NPC, PC, Feminazi Hollywood has got to stop. Because Rotten Tomatoes has and always will be rotten. Why wasn't this done for Batman versus Superman? <laughs> The truth is so stupid. Nobody's feelings are hurt. Just everybody on this site. When he says we are not trolling, if there's an organized group of people like that go on 4chan or on Reddit and say, hey, guys, make sure, you know what? We don't like what she said. And then somebody said, OK, let's just let's just bomb the uh, Rotten Tomatoes score. That's, you know, it's the best thing we can do to kind of hurt them. That's trolling. I don't understand. <laughs> we just didn't have that. 
in a movie that betrayed what Marvel was doing and the actress that was doing it. Marvel has been getting more diverse as it's growing along. She's not, she's doing every, like, it's, this is so stupid. Must be taught a lesson. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna, yeah. Yeah, see, it, just because we aren't interested in seeing the movie, it's not that it makes you a troll. It's when somebody says, let's go in an organized attack and they go and do it is what makes them a troll. Thank you for joining me on this nice little adventure. Uh, oh, and just to show clear kind of transparency, I'm gonna allow his his comment because i really don't believe in censorship i really believe everyone should be titled to their opinion they just don't agree with you <laughs> and that makes them uh because you're right not there's no other thing it's it's you're entitled to your opinion but if you think it, your opinion is the only thing and that's 100 percent right and that's it because because of this reason or x y and z you're not, you're you're always gonna win but you're also gonna always lose that's just how it works thank you for joining me please make sure to like and subscribe can't wait to see all of the dislikes that's about it for you guys uh like and subscribe oh well yeah don't even yeah subscribe if you like what i'm doing here i have more gameplay videos more opinion videos no more nerd up i think i i i made a video to just no more nerd up i'm just gonna be doing mostly opinion stuff and video game stuff thank you for joining me and please be a nerd not a dick. I'll talk to you guys soon.